I believe in America. I believe in the government. I believe in people. I believe that people can be the solution to our problems. I'm Phil Jones and I approve this message. So uh, tell us who you are. I'm Phil Jones. I'm running for state legislature. Legis that's a funny word. <laughs> <laughs> legislature, it's not that hard. I'm Connie Jones. Legislature. I'm not only his loving wife, but I'm also his campaign manager. I'm his guiding light through this process, um, helping him through and being his, his backbone and his support so we can change the world one person at a time. Your vote. What's your name? Steven. Steven, good to meet you. You know, I'm not like other politicians. Most of them give you phony one-liners and broken promises, but I've got something different. Come here, bro. Come here. <laughs> well, no, that's cool. You know, Phil is a dreamer. Um, he is a visionary. And sometimes when someone has such big dreams, they, they tend to lose focus. And, and I'm, I'm here um, to... To help him keep focus. Uh huh. Yeah, that's good. Good morning, Stu. Oh, morning, Phil. What you doing there? Oh, just planting some seeds, actually. Oh. So what are we doing? Oh well, we're kind of gonna canvas the neighborhood, pass out a few flyers, meet the people, you know. You like this kind of stuff? I do, because it helps me get to know who who the who my voters are, you know. Phil's really a visionary, you know, he's, he's not someone who's going to stand on the sidelines and just say what people want to hear, you know, he's, he's willing to step outside the lines and really stir people's emotions and get them thinking critically about, uh, about the society they live in. I want to pass some legislature uh, prohibiting teenage girls from shaving off their eyebrows and then drawing them in with makeup. You know, that's, I, I like that. it's kind of gross, don't, don't you think? I mean, we're giving eyebrows for a reason, right? I mean, I'm... Okay. Phil's just got such a great message, and, and I really believe in that. And I think it's important that when you believe in something, to stand up for it and speak your mind and let others know. What about Phil's wife, Connie, his campaign manager? Oh, she's great. She's lovely. They, uh, they make a really great pair. Excuse me. This is very important. You need to take the flyer. I'm, I, I'm sorry. The press are totally in love with him, and I don't understand it. I mean, look at the guy. He's a slob. He campaigns in flip-flops. I mean, you're running for office. You're not here to mow the lawn. He's got nothing to say. He's just like, hey, I, I want to I wanna hug you. Come here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I have been a successful legislator for over 15 years. I've never hugged anybody, not even my family or my friends. And it hasn't affected my performance at all. Oh, we're running low. We need to print some more. Oh, are we printing? Don't trust Phil Jones! Don't trust Phil Jones! He's a liar! Don't trust Phil Jones! Phil Jones can't be trusted! Ask him about his neighbors! Ask him about his neighbors! Where was his neighbors? Okay, okay. You know, as the drug problem in this city, it causes a lot of people to hallucinate. Yes. Do you get, like, weird people like that when you're on the trail? You know, sometimes. But, I mean, those are the people we're trying to help. So are there specific pieces of your agenda that you really want to highlight for voters? Well, I think I've been pretty clear on the issues up to this point. Um, I do have a secret plan that I'm kind of working on uh, to sort of combat the energy and the nutrition crisis. But I think it's a little too early for that at this point. So ask me again in a few months. You know, uh, he talks a lot about change. I don't think people really want change. Change upsets people, you know? I went to the store the other day, they didn't have my favorite flavor of yogurt. And I went and asked for it, and the manager said, they don't make it anymore. That's change, and that was very upsetting to me. You know, I've heard him talk a lot about this secret plan, and he just throws out a lot of vague, sort of feel-good nonsense, and he doesn't really back it up. I believe that renewable energy resources should be at the top of our national priority list. I believe that sunsets are pretty, but they're that way because of pollution. So 
you know, they're kind of sad, too. I talked to his campaign manager, his wife, and she claims that he's got some real answers behind all of this. Do you believe her? No. Do you believe her? I really don't know. I don't believe her. Oh, hey there, fellas. Hey. Come on in. How's it going? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Just mm -hmm. finishing up dinner. Thanks for having us over, Bill. You guys got something to drink? I'm okay. Okay. Well, I open a bottle of wine in case you change your mind. <laughs> I'm not going in there. No way. No way. I'm going to you know, I'm glad you fellas can make it tonight, I, I, so I could finally reveal my secret plan to you all. You know, I, I think as a nation, we're we're making you know we're not making use of a untapped and an abundant resource. And, and I'm talking about the less desirables of society. You know, take take Stu here. You know you know those seeds he was planting outside. Well, that wasn't his tree. That was mine. And. That's a clear violation of HOA policy. And it's not just limited to inconsiderate neighbors. No, I, I want to make use of vagrants on the street. I mean, why feed the homeless when the homeless can feed us? <laughs> I believe that renewable energy resources should be at the top of our national priority list. I believe that sunsets are pretty, but they're that way because of pollution. So, you know, they're kind of sad, too. I'm cooking up my campaign. I am seasoning my agenda. The people have the power, and I am powered by the people. Legislature? Legis that's a funny word. <laughs> Legislature, it's not that hard.